Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Welcome, welcome again to another wonderful time with God this morning on glorious morning shower. We don't despise the days of little beginning. I believe that somebody somewhere is being blessed by this broadcast. Today, we are talking about rejoicing. So before we go into that, I will ask how was your day yesterday? How was your day? Maybe your day didn't end well yesterday. Maybe your expectation did not happen. Uh, you are now confronting another day. Another day has come again. You couldn't meet up that target yesterday. You couldn't meet up that expectation yesterday. And one way the devil does things is like today now, the memory of your failure yesterday, the, the memory of your inability of yesterday, will come on you again and it will soil today. But connecting this money, that will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. That will never be your portion in the name of Jesus. Now going back to the scripture we once read in Psalm 118 verse 24 that says, This is the day the Lord has made. Now I told you that it is a covenant. That scripture is a covenant scripture that pertains to God and you. You know, waking you up in the morning, he has made you his own part already. He has made the day. He has given you the day already. No. Now, for that day to be glorious, your part is rejoice and be glad. So, wake up this morning with joy and gladness. That situation will become as if it never existed on the platform of joy and gladness. Habakkuk chapter 3, can we have a look at that? Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 17. Say, although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall the fruit be in the vines, the labor of the olive shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat the flock shall be cut off from the fold and there shall be no head in the stalls yet i will rejoice in the lord i will joy in the god of my salvation the lord god is my strength and he will make my feet like hinds feet and he will make me to walk upon my high places. Can you see that? Though the fig tree did not blossom, that could be the situation of somebody right now. It ended bad yesterday. It didn't go well yesterday. You have every right to be downcasted. You have every right to be troubled. Some even have a feeling that God does not exist. Some even say God has forgotten about them. But by the scripture, I charge you today. He said, yet in all these things, I will rejoice. Let me tell you. God is not the maker of evil. He only sits back to watch. Like in the case of Job, he knew the devil was coming. He said, you can do everything but don't touch his life. He always sits back to watch. And the next action after his sitting back to watch is dependent on your reaction to that situation. So when you say 
God does not exist because of one trial. You have weakened the hand of God to act. But when in the situation that trial, you give thanks to God. Though he slayed me, I will yet thank him. I don't care about what the situation is saying. I will yet praise him. We have gone through many situations. It may not be as heavy as what you are going through now, but we have also gone through situations that we refuse to give up. Thank King God and rejoicing have a way of building capacity to withstand situation. Murmuring and complaining always weaken. It makes the situation get bigger. It get bigger. In that situation, stop complaining, stop grumbling. Don't make it deeper. Don't make it wider. Look up. Giving thanks. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I give you praise. I worship you. I honor you. Yes, everybody is saying this. Everybody is saying that. But I give you thanks. I give you a bad name. See, give thanks to God. Give worshiping God. And those bad names automatically will draw. So I charge you today to be happy. Go out there rejoicing, rejoicing. When they see you today in the office, they will ask, what has come over you? say, I'm just happy. I didn't win anything, I didn't win anything but I'm just happy. It is that joy that will make you win. It is that gladness that will make you win. One way you can get out of If you don't rejoice, you don't give thanks to God, and your memory is free, the devil will keep bringing it back again. The devil will keep bringing it back again. And as he keep bringing it back again, he keep weighing you down. He keep weighing you down. He keep weighing you down until you are defeated. Defeat is not a product of one day. It's a product of a continuous exercise. One way you can fight it back is joy. Speak joy into your situation. No matter what they say, keep saying joy, speaking joy into your situation. I'm happy. I'm happy. So, as God has given you today by fulfilling his own portion, make it your own day by getting happy, smiling, rejoicing. The expectation of the righteous cannot be cut off. I will be your portion today in the mighty name of Jesus. Every devil waiting for you to enter into their trap today, they will not be able to see you. Why? Because you will, the time they, will, they didn't know you used to sing and getting happy that way. They will look at you, they say, he has passed already. Where? So, no, he's that one that passed that time that was singing. So we didn't know, we have missed him today again. Yes. You're singing, you're rejoicing, you're getting, becoming glad with confuse every devil around you today in Jesus' mighty name. I believe God has blessed you with this broadcast today, this morning again, glorious morning shower. Help us by sharing this. Connect to us every morning, every morning. The covenant we have also made with God to ensure that this keep coming to you every morning. You may feel not assisted, but somebody somewhere will need it. You know, and a day will come, you will need it. Keep connecting with us every morning to have a word bath. There is no situation under heaven that word of God cannot change it. And I have come to realize that God has word for every situation. Even what is going on in the other world, he has word for it. As God keep helping us, we'll keep unraveling those words to you short, precise, and helpful in the name of Jesus. God bless you.